Hello, my name is Maria and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying mental subtraction methods. This is part one and there's going to be another video after this. First, our method one is to subtract in parts. My example is 62 minus 7. And we will first subtract 260 and then some more. So, 62 and we take away 2 first because the result of that is 60. And then after that we have to subtract some more, right? Because we need to subtract a total of 7. So 2 and then 5. And now this here is 60, right? So 60 minus 5, that's an easier subtraction problem than our original one. 60 minus 5 equals 55. One more. 51 minus 6. First we subtract so that there is only 50 left, which means subtracting 1. And then we need to subtract some more. How much more? We need to subtract a total of 6. Take away 1 and take away 5, right? And so this is 50 and we get 50 minus 5 equals 45. Now let's practice that strategy a few more times. 43 minus 7. We subtract that 7 in two parts. First, so that we have 40 left. So you take away 3, right? 43 minus 3. And then some more. 4 more. Because we subtract 3 and 4, so that we subtract a total of 7. So this is 40, this here. And 40 minus 4, 36. OK, why don't you try this on your own before I explain? Seventy-four minus nine. First I subtract four and then I need to subtract five more. This here is seventy. Seventy minus five, sixty-five. And our last one, fifty-five minus eight. First we subtract five because that leaves fifty. The whole ten. And then three more. This here makes 50. 50 minus 3 is 47. Okay, what do you think, Matthew? He thinks it's fairly easy. Good. Method 2. Use known subtraction facts. Over here I have 52 minus 6 and I'm going to use a helping problem which is 12 minus 6. Okay, and that I know the answer to. It is 6. So 52 minus 6 will end in 6, but it will be in the previous 10, in the 40s. Just like 12 minus 6, okay, it goes down to the previous 10, which is actually no 10s, and this one goes down to the previous 10, to the 40s, and then ends in 6. You can also think of addition here, 6 plus 6 equals 12, 46 plus 6 equals 52. Now this one, the helping problem is again, you take one of your teen numbers, 13 minus 9. And that equals 4, right? You should know that by memory by now. And now this one here will end in 4, but it will be in the previous 10, in the 50s, 54. Let's practice that a little now, over here. Try it on your own. 12 minus 8. Four. So this one, in the previous 10, 40s and ending in 4. 13 minus 6, 7. So 93 minus 6, in the previous 10, 80 and then ending in 7. Lastly, we have a word problem. Mathy has $43. A puzzle book costs $8. And so... So what will we ask? Now you can make up a question for this word problem. Um, what could we ask? Of course one thing that comes to my mind is if Matthew has $43 and he goes to buy that puzzle book then how much money does he have left? Do you have any other questions we could ask? Oh, Matthew has one, okay. Right, yeah, yeah. Matthew's saying 
How many puzzle books can he buy? He wants to buy as many as he can. So how many can he buy? You know, that's actually a pretty good problem for third grade math. So for second graders, it will be challenging, but we might solve that one too. And one more question. How about if we just ask, how much would three puzzle books cost? Or we could say that Matthew buys two puzzle books and then how much money will he have left? Those types of things. Just for this, I want to solve that if Matthew buys one puzzle book, then how much money will he have left? And that would be, of course, the subtraction for the 3 minus 8, right? And um, you have already learned two ways to do it. Maybe we'll do this one, subtracting parts, for the 3 minus 3 first, and then 5. And so we will have 35, right? He will have $35 left. But let's think about the other problem too that Matthew had. How many books can he buy? If he wants to buy many, as many as he can. And I'm gonna write here a table. Let's see, one book is $8. Two books, double that, so we get 16, right? And then let's double that. Four books. What's double 16? Well, there's 10 and 6, and 10 and 6. You will get 20 and 12, which is 32. He can buy four books, see? How about five books? Eight dollars more to that, we get 40. And then six books would be 48. So he cannot buy six books, but he can buy five books. Okay? I hope you enjoyed this and we're all done with this lesson.